Lars Sullivan destroys opponents with smothering offense and a speed that's like getting run over by a freight train. Oh, he is frightening. And then there's Keith Lee across the way, who might just impress the WWE Universe with his unreal athleticism, but will absolutely destroy his opponent with his massive power. Keith Lee breaks the rules of physics. Not good for the back and body. Back in from the floor. Man, what a gut buster. He just cannot be caught. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. That'll hurt. DDT. Keatley is just so impressive. It's hard to understand how a man his size can move the way he does. It's even hard to understand how to stop him once he gets started. Keith Lee has an ego the size of Byron's bald spot. But as a man his size with his speed and agility, there's good reason for that. If possible, the best bet against basking in his glory is to avoid, evade, and tire him out as much as possible. You can try to bring the fight to him, but I wouldn't suggest it. A, a bald spot? That, listen, just bad arena lighting. Just so you know. You know, Keith Lee calls himself limitless. What exactly does that mean, Byron? Well, that means his size doesn't dictate what he could do in the ring. He dictates what he can do in that ring. And there may be nothing more intimidating than a super heavyweight who can also move like a cruiserweight. He's just dominating at this point. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. Saxon, I'll give it to you on this. There's absolutely nothing more intimidating than a man who looks like Keith Lee, moving like he's Rey Mysterio's size. I mean, I could go for a little less of the bask in my glory nonsense, but Keith Lee truly does have the goods. Tough spot to be in. Gets him with a counter. Hit the mark with that one. Hurt the back, spine rattling. Oh man. Oh, the torque on the knee. Belly to belly. Vicious. Who does this methodical pace benefit? Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Beautiful counter from Lars Sullivan. And the referee starts his 10 count. Whoa. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Two. A well-aimed strike. Three. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Four. Well, this'll damage your back. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are being entertained tonight. One. Bang! Two! Oh, Corey, he unloaded there! Three! Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Right to the midsection. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Oh. This could be his moment. This is how people end up getting hurt. Power bomb. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Back now inside the ring. What a counter. Don't break your crown. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the lengths these superstars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. The cover. Surprised if that was it. Wow. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Just launched. Lars Sullivan doing a great job of turning that around. One, Evading possible disaster there. Oh, I think we're going to see it, gentlemen. There it comes. Ouch. Lars Sullivan with the early cover. In a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. He isn't going to go away that easy. Great agility there. planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Boom! What a punch! Avoiding trouble there. Tough situation to be in right here. Powerbomb! He's lining him up. Lars Sullivan doing a great job of turning that around. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Bringing it back into the ring. He's fading, guys. That corner is the only thing keeping him upright. Beautiful counter from Lars Sullivan. Back to the torso here. We eliminate the core. This is a great move. Shoulder tackle. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. The advantage is squarely in his corner. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. Clubbing four. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Now, what agility! He's got him covered. Gotta wonder what his strategy is here, Cole. Oh, the reversal by Lars Sullivan. Ooh, oh, fuck Jack! Gosh, landing face first. He's playing with him now. Keith Lee, look out! Ground zero! That puts him in total control. 
A trip to the local medical facility. He's done it! He's done it! He's got the victory! You want to know how to stop a monster? Here's another look. This is the confrontation we've all been waiting for. And he continues to use the chair. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. He knows he's in trouble. Keith Lee, look out! Ground zero! 